How's it going guys? So for today's video, we're going to be doing a full conversion for a Dodge Charger. It's going to be going from an SXT to an SRT. And first we're going to start off with the front bumper. Part number for the front bumper is BC101820. And then we're going to move on to the rear bumper, which we have over here. And part number for that one is BC101821. And then we're going to move on to the side skirts, which is the part number for that one is BC102125. So first of all, we gotta start off by taking the stock bumper, which Raven and Franco are currently working on. So once we're done uh, taking off the stock bumper, we're gonna go ahead and start assembly the SRT front bumper. So as you guys can see here, we have Raven taking off both the front and passenger side wheels in order to start taking off the front bumper. So right now we're taking the tabs from the fender line from both passenger and driver side. As you're done removing the stock bumper, you want to make sure to start assembling your bumper. So right now we have Raven over here working on assembling the SRT front bumper. Okay, so once you're done, it should look something like this. And once again, yeah, the bumper comes with all the hardware necessary to completely assemble the SRT bumper. And pretty much everything snaps right in. Okay, so once you're done removing the stock bumper, well, the only piece that we're gonna reuse from the factory stock bumper is gonna be this little piece right here, and also this. So we're gonna take take those off and put it right onto the SRT bumper. So we're gonna go ahead and work on that right now. Okay, so also when you place your order online on bikers.com, you have the option to add your fog lights, as you guys can see here, for your SRT bumpers. And yeah, everything pretty much snaps right on, even the fog lights. Just adding a little pressure as the tabs will go right in. And that's gonna go on to the other bumper. And everything stamps right in using the tabs from our bike responder. Okay. 
हो गया है So right now we're taking up the rivets. In order to remove the other piece, that's gonna go onto the SRT bumper. We're gonna reuse this, this brackets. So we gotta take out the rivets. That's a little piece, so we're gonna be reusing and mount it onto the SRT. So this is the bracket from your factory bumper. This is pretty much the bracket that holds your bumper into into place. So we're gonna go ahead and mount it now onto the SRT bumper. Now we're gonna go ahead and use the rivet to install the bracket. Done? Yep. Okay. And just make sure to repeat the same procedure for both passenger and driver's side. As you can see here. And over here. And what's the size? Size 316 or 5 millimeters. 316 or 5 millimeters. And also make sure to mount the side brackets. As you see here. So once you're done with assembling everything back onto the SRT bumper, we're just pretty much done. Just go ahead and mount everything back to its place. And you have successfully installed the SRT from bumper conversion, our number BC101820. So as you guys can see, the fitment is perfect. Everything lines up. And right here, we're just finishing up putting on the bumper tabs. So now that we're done with the front bumper, we're gonna go ahead and start working on to the sides. So first of all, you just gotta remove the tabs. Just here on the, and uh, from the front, and then we're gonna go, go ahead and move onto this back. 
Okay, so now that you have removed the tabs, we're gonna go, go ahead and pull the side skirts out. There should be some tabs that will come right in and come right out. Okay. Okay, so now that you have removed the side skirts, we're gonna go ahead and mount the SRT ones and everything comes ready to go with the tabs. So we're gonna go ahead and start mounting the side skirts right now. Make sure to place the tabs throughout the side skirts. Okay, so once you have attached all the tabs, just make sure to push the side skirts right in. Everything clips right in. So once you're done, it should look something like this and just apply the same procedure onto the passenger side. Fairly easy, everything snaps right in. So now that we're done with the, both the front and the sides, we're gonna go ahead and move onto the rear. We're gonna be installing the re SRT rear bumper onto the SXT, along with the 1705 rear diffuser. First step is to remove the stack bumper. Once we do, we'll go ahead and start assembling the SRT bumper that will go mounted onto the SXT. First step is to remove the tail light. In order to get to the brackets located here, to unclip the tabs. So that's the first step. So essentially we just have to take out the bolts that are attached onto the headlight. Once those were removed, the, the headlight, the tail light should come off fairly easy. Now that we have taken the rear tail light, we're gonna be able to unclip the tabs. Now we're gonna move on to the bottom and we're gonna start removing the rear tabs from the bottom. There are only three and once you're done removing those, the bumper should start coming off. Now we're taking out the bolts. Pretty much the rear is ready to go. Once you take off all the tabs and clips.
So we're taking off right now the... Sensors? Big sensors for the brake line or for the camera? For the camera when you're parking. And just as the other bumper, front bumper, you make sure to just raise the factory side marker. So we're gonna take off the side markers from the existing rear bumper. And we're gonna place it onto the new bumper. We're gonna go ahead and mount the curls. And the diffuser literally just slides right in. Always oh, start from the middle and then the tabs will just go along. Okay. Pretty much everything clips right in. So well, I'm see everything it's mounted back. Make sure to put your daylights as well. Out of the whole kit, I would have to say the sides and the rear, it was fairly easy. The front bumper might take a little longer, but other than that, I mean the whole procedure is fairly, fairly easy. Not everything pretty much pulls right in, it snaps right in with uh, tabs and hardware provided. So it's a wrap, the full conversion has been finally done, the rear, the sides and the front has been finally installed onto the SXT for a full conversion. I want to say out of the front, the sides and the rear, the front was definitely slightly a little more time consuming. But other than that, everything was fairly, fairly easy. Thank you guys for watching, make sure to subscribe to your YouTube channel for more awesome content and follow us on our social media. Until next time.